We all know about the Melbourne property market. Up, up, up. But in 2011, the Halifax family moved to Carlton in Melbourne. Their new home? 21 rooms including bedrooms, scullery, drawing room and more. But did we mention their dolls? Welcome to Pendle Hall. Michael Reason is Museums Victoria's Curator of History and Technology. He helped acquire Pendle Hall in 2011. Felicity Clemens was actually born in Melbourne as Felicity Syme. Her father was Sir Geoffrey Syme who owned and ran the Melbourne Age. In the mid-1930s, she met Dr Max Clemens from Tasmania. The wilds of Tasmania conjure up many things. Tasmanian devils, tigers and, well, you know. But for Clemens, they inspired the opposite. A vision of Georgian-style opulence and domesticity that she created over 20 years. So, how did Pendle Hall originate? Pendle Hall originated in the early 1940s when Felicity Clemens' daughter was given a small doll's house. Felicity looked at the doll's house and thought, I'm not too happy about its size or its scale, so I think I might try and make an even better one. Uh, when she started it, I think she was thinking of it as a short-term project, but actually it took over 20 years. One of the amazing things about Pendle Hall is the fact that Felicity Clemens actually made majority of the objects inside the house, as well as the house itself. Um, she actually had access to tools, including her husband's surgical equipment, and she made all the furniture by hand, all the parquetry flooring, all the curtains, all the soft furnishings. In fact, the only thing I think that was bought was the small china pieces. Moving house is considered more stressful than a breakup or even a new job. Yeah! So how did we move something as delicate as Pendle Hall? One of the challenges in moving and looking after something like Pendle Hall is the large number of small pieces that it contains. Uh, before it was moved from Launceston to the museum, each piece was carefully packed. And then when it arrived at the museum, each of these pieces was registered separately, so we know exactly where it is. And then special housing was made so that it can be stored safely so nothing will happen to it in the future. Pendle Hall isn't just a piece of prime real estate in miniature. It's one woman's incredible life's work a testament to her creativity and to her desire to reshape her world, one parquetry floorboard at a time. <laughs>